All right, so one thing I didn't really um, clear up or 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 actually state in part one that I should really emphasize is so when we pushed all these registers on to the stack and we made room for C oh that's ugly so when we did all this oh, that's ugly too but whatever you guys get what I'm talking about so after we did that notice that EBP did not move EBP did not move and that is exactly why we call it the base pointer so EBP never moves really when we're doing our our when we're operating on the stack when we're doing whatever we want to do on the stack EBP will not change it, it, I mean it'll stay in one spot its base it's it's grounded but ESP on the other hand is going to be moving all over the place so it's good to have EBP as this base that we can reference um, our stack by and we'll, we'll actually use it in in this video a, a little bit later but anyway I just want to stress that so after we have these lines of code from part one we said we were gonna get to this line here in our add function and see we're gonna translate this line so so right now we know that so th this is an important part right here for EBP so in order to access I want to access B and I want to put it in the EBX registers let's say we want to put it in the EBX register so we want to move B into so I'm moving it into the EBX register so I can add it with the value of A so let's move B into EBX so how do we do this so in order to access B we know so we'll use EBP as a reference so we'll start I haven't done any videos on memory addressing but hopefully if you guys are watching this video you're comfortable with that so anyway so so in order to do that we know that this is how we do it we know that B is like I said each one of these is four bytes so four eight twelve so B is twelve bytes above EBP so we'll write this by doing this line of code 12 past EBP basically saying we start at the memory address EBP we start at whatever EBP is pointing to and we move up 12 bytes so right now we're accessing that value right now and we're gonna move that like I said into EBX so once we move that into EBX we can actually add add we'll add a to b so we'll do a plus we'll just say we'll do a plus b and that's pretty simple but it's also going to require another another one of these memory accessing um one of this this memory accessing in uh syntax so this memory accessing in syntax so in order to access a we know that a is for eight eight bytes above ebp so we'll draw that i mean we'll write that like this we start at we start at ebp and we go eight bytes past that above that basically and we'll add well we're not moving sorry 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 so let me erase that we're not moving we're adding so we'll have to use the add add instruction a so a I said was eight past EBP we're adding that to 
B, which right now at the moment is an EBX, and we know that the value will now, after this line runs, the value will be an EBX. So A plus B will be an EBX. So if we're going to continue um, translating our code, so we basically did this part right now. We did this part, A plus B. It's getting kind of messy, but we did this part, A plus B. And now we want to set that equal to C. So how do we set that equal to C? So C is here. C is in our, let me use a brighter color. C is right here in this spot where ESP is um, currently pointing to, but we want to keep using the EBP. That's stand. That's basically standard. Everyone's going to be using EBP all the time. So, oh my God, I'm running out of room. So anyway, let me. I'll continue this up here, and I don't think we really need our main anymore. So let me erase our main function. Let me erase this. Well, we'll keep. Uh, let me let me keep this part of the main function. All right. So we'll continue up here. So now we got this added, but we got to set equal to C, and we'll again we'll move. So this line is going to be moving. A plus B into C. So how do we do this? Well, we know C is negative. So negative, since we're going down. Negative 4, negative 8, negative 12, negative 16 under EBP. So we'll move we know that a plus b right now is an ebx ebx to negative 16 past ebp and now we can finally get to our last line but this last line is going to take two lines in assembly and we'll see why so this last line is going to tell us so like i said the gcc calling conventions as I stated in my other video, tells us that our return value has to be an EAX. So right now our return value, well in this case our return value is C. And C is C, so we're going to move C into EAX. EAX. How do we do this? Well, we'll just access C with that EBP register as usual. This is a parenthesis and this one is as well. And we'll move it into EAX. That's simple. So, alright, so now that that's done, we can actually, well, after that's done, we're almost done. We're almost done with this whole function, so what's going to happen, I mean, our stack is all messed up. We used EBX for something, and we know that that has to be returned to its original value. And all, all we made a mess, basically. So we got to clean up our mess before we return. We actually return. So right now we have our, everything's ready to return, except our stack is messy, really messy. So let's see what happens next so well I'll continue this in the next video and I wanna clean every I wanna clean this main function I mean I wanna put it somewhere else so we have some more room here and I'll, I'll I don't wanna bore you with that so I'll, I'll switch it to the next function I mean I'll put it in the next video